Hello, in this video, we are going to see how to generate an Ethereum wallet using Golang. But before that, let's see what are the main parts of an Ethereum wallet. So the first part is the private key. So the private key is the most important part and should always be stored in a secure place. The person who has this key owns the account and can make transactions and send money from this wallet. Okay, so the private key is generated using an algorithm called elliptic core digital signature algorithm. The second part is the public key. So this public key is generated from the private key, but we cannot generate the private key from the public key. Okay, so it is one way. So the public key is used to check and validate a transaction. Okay, so after we encrypt a transaction, we can validate it using the public key. The third part is the public address. So this address is used for transaction. So if you want to receive money from another person, you can give him the public address. Okay, so you don't have to share the public key and never share your private key. Okay, the public address is used to receive and send money. Okay, later we will dive deeper, but for now, let's switch to VS Code and start coding. Okay, so let's start and generate our private key. And to do that, we have to use a crypto sub package contained inside the Go Ethereum package dot generate key so this function returns a private key and an error so let's handle the error okay so now we have our private key but let's convert this private key to a string so we can store this private key as a string in a secure place and to do that we have to use another function from the crypto sub package okay called from ecdsa okay so from elliptic curve digital signature algorithm okay so here we already generate this private key the private key is generated using ecdsa algorithm so we can pass this private key pvk okay and as a result we got a slice of byte Okay, let's call it P data or private data. Now let's try to print and see if we got our key. Let's run the script. You can see that we got a slice of byte. Let's try to convert it to a string and see the result. As you can see, it gave us some symbols. We cannot use yet this data so we have to encode it and to encode it we need to use another package called hex util we can use it to encode this private data so now we can print our private key and this is the private key so this key you should store it in a secure place Okay, now let's see how we can generate a public key from this private key because as I explained, the public key is generated from the private key. So to do that, we use pvk, our private key, dot public key. So it's easy. So we can automatically get the public key from the private key. It's the same as the private key, so we have to convert it to a slice of byte, then encode it. Okay, so there is also another function for the public key, so we can use it. It's called crypto dot from ecdsa dot public key, so we can pass the public key. Okay, we pass it as an address. So now we got pub data as a result. And we can use the same function hex that encode to encode the public key. So let's print and see. So let's 
make it bigger so you can see that this first key is the private key and this huge key is the public key okay so now we generated two parts the private and the public we need the third part the address and to do that we use the crypto package pip key to address so we use this function to generate the public address from the public key okay so we have to pass the public key and to do that we can get the public key from the private key okay so this function return a common address so we can use dot hex to get a string of this address let's print it so on the script and as you can see we successfully generated the three parts of an ethereum wallet the private key the public key and the address so with these three keys we successfully generate a ethereum wallet and we are now able to make transactions to any other wallet or receive money from any other wallet this is for this video i hope you learned something so thank you for watching and see you in the next video thank you